Hey guys, what's up? Once again, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Destinations. I am your host, Avinas. So guys, today I am going to show you that how we can install and register the GitLab Runner in the VMs. Now, if you don't know about the GitLab Runner, let me explain you. So GitLab Runner is nothing. It is an agent which helps us to execute the CI CD jobs. Now, I believe many of you have already configured the agent inside the Jenkins. The GitLab runner is the same. The only difference is the difference of platform. So there you have configured agent inside the Jenkins. Here we are configuring agent as a runner inside the GitLab. And it helps us to execute the CI CD jobs, which is based on the GitOps. Okay. So here inside the GitLab environment, we call runner as a agent. So don't get confused. Runner is simply as a agent which help us to execute CI CD jobs. Hey guys, one more request. If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Okay guys, so now I'm going to conduct the practical sessions and in practical session, firstly, I am going to show you the installations part. So there is already the official documentations uh, is given by the GitLab and you can use that for installations of GitLab Runner. Okay, and I'm going to give this link inside the description section so you can take it from there. Okay, so since my machine is CentOS based Linux, that's why I'm going to copy this one. So uh, this one basically uh, add a repository right inside my YAM. So I'm going to install it firstly let me go on the root okay so i added this repository and now i can simply install with the yum command okay okay guys so here you can see that i have successfully installed the gitlab runner okay now there are packages there are repository is given for various platform so since I am using CentOS 7 and that's the reason that I have taken the CentOS 7 repository. Okay. However, if you are using the Ubuntu platform, Debian, Windows, Docker, whichever is using, there are packages available for everyone. Okay. For all the platforms. So you can use it from this uh, documentations from this page. Okay. So now I have successfully installed the GitLab runner. Now time to register the GitLab registry. Okay, guys, so before I take you to the process to register the GitLab runner, uh, let me uh, tell you one more thing. So guys, this is my piece on the LinkedIn DevOps talk and where I often publish all the DevOps and SRD related topics. So you can see that around three days ago, I have published this topic that what is the runner? What are the steps to configure the sonar inside the GitLab CI, right? So here you can see in depth all these steps. So I request you please start following this one as well on the LinkedIn DevOps talk and just keep updated yourself with the latest DevOps and the SRE technologies. You can also follow me on LinkedIn. My ID is Avinash Mato. So you can search on the LinkedIn and you can follow me. So you will keep updated yourself with the latest DevOps and the SRE technologies. Okay, let's get back on our topic. So now I'm going to register the GitLab registry. Okay. So the command is pretty much simple. I need to run GitLab hyphen runner space register. So let's run this one. GitLab hyphen runner space register. Okay. So here it is saying that enter the GitLab instance URL. Okay. So where you will get it. So guys, since we are using this runner in order to set up the CI CD inside the GitLab. Okay. So I am under my project as of now, my project name is sonar cube and I am under the repository. So these are my repository, right? But in order to register the runner in the same, you need to go to setting of your project. Okay. This is my project sonar cube in the GitLab and then I need to visit setting. Okay. Then here you can see that the CI CD. Uh, sorry, here you need to go to this CI CD setting and then CI CD. Then here you see the options runner. You need to expand it. Okay. 
and uh, if you are using the shared runner right uh, then you can enable it like that like this but if you want to use your own customized runner likewise the the way which we are configuring right now right then you need to copy this url okay so here you can see that i disable the shared runner and now i am going to configure our own runner okay so i can give this url then after that it is asking enter the registrations token okay so here you can see that the token okay reset the token i want to use the fresh token because this token i have already used in my previous machines so i can copy this token okay now enter a descriptions for the runner okay so i give like a devops work something enter the tags no need you can put it is optional enter optional maintenance note for the runner uh, that is also optional Let's wait now it is asking enter an, an executor right so as a executor i am going to put here the cell so here you can see the message runner registered successfully okay so here once you here come and then you refresh you will see the machine's id here so let's go to runner expand it and here you see and it is in the green that means that it is active that means we have successfully registered this machine worker node two machines as a runner okay so whenever we trigger any ci cd pipeline from this repository the commands will actually execute on this machines okay and that is the concept of the agent that helps you to execute the ci cd job so here you can see that i have successfully registered and now it's a testing time so now i am going to build one package and we'll see that whether uh we are successfully building the package using this machine as a agent or not okay so let's go for the testing okay guys so as we know that in order to run the ci cd pipeline inside the gitlab okay so we need the file called gitlab hyphen ci dot yaml and it works as the same as we use jenkins file okay so basically where we defined our stages okay so since i wanted to show you from the scratch and that's the reason that this file was already exists but i have deleted uh, just now okay in order to show you to how we can build from the scratch okay so now let's create this file once again and here we can select this file okay and uh, it is just to show you that uh, that you can use various template as well so here are various template available okay so you want to use some automated template right you can take it from here okay but uh, actually i am going to use my own customized command okay and where i am going to just build one simple maven package so i delete this and i put my commands so it is simple like a stage is the build and i'm going to run the command maven package and the artifact path i have given home gitlab runner okay so that 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 much only and now i'm going to add that added maven script okay so now the moment when i say commit changes the pipeline the pipeline is triggered so i say commit changes okay and now we can see the progress of the pipeline from here so you need to go ci cd then pipeline so here you see that the pipeline is already started running okay and it is running on the agent it means it is running on this agent okay so let's go and click here and we can check the progress as well and there is a one job and this is the job so here you can see that currently it is loading all the requirements the dependencies so it can build the packages okay so let's wait for some time let's get it complete this job
so meanwhile time i pause this video and once it is completed i will be get back okay guys so job has been successfully completed and you can see the succeeded message here now let's check the status of the pipeline and here you can see the status of the pipeline is passed that means that the stages which we have defined under the gitlab ivancy.yaml file has been successfully executed now let's check the artifact as well so if you remember the artifact path was uh, gitlab runner okay so i don't know each and every directory so i go one by one we go then the boss path then this is actually this is the project sonar cube this is the project you can see here go to sonar cube we go to target and here uh, sorry uh, here we can see the build package so this is the package this is the package we build now so guys this is what i wanted to show you and this is the way where you can uh, install and register the gitlab runner inside the agent okay so i mean uh, you can install and register gitlab runner as a agent inside the vms so guys uh, that's all for this session guys and if you have any questions uh, just write me in the comment sections and i will answer it there so guys uh, uh, i am almost done and at the last i would like to request you that if you haven't yet subscribe my channel then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well so now thank you so much for watching this please take care yourself and don't forget to subscribe my channel you have a very lovely day guys see you in my next